What we're left with are six key facts that have not and will not change. First, the transcript shows that the President did not condition either security assistance or a meeting on anything. The paused security assistance funds aren't even mentioned on the call. Second, President Zelensky and other Ukrainian officials have repeatedly said that there was no quid pro quo and no pressure on them to review anything. Third, President Zelensky and high-ranking Ukrainian officials did not even know, did not even know, the security assistance was paused until the end of August, over a month after the July 25 call. Fourth, not a single witness testified that the President himself said that there was any connection between any investigations and security assistance, a presidential meeting, or anything else. Fifth, the security assistance flowed on September 11, and a presidential meeting took place on September 25, without the Ukrainian government announcing any investigations. Finally, the Democrats' blind drive to impeach the President does not and cannot change the fact, as attested to by the Democrats' own witnesses, that President Trump has been a better friend and stronger supporter of Ukraine than his predecessor. Those are the facts.